time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go uh, We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, October 17th on a Tuesday. Hope everybody's doing well. I was doing well. Had a little small winner on the AM ratio. Quick, quick exit. Uh, some JSPs that worked out. And then came along this down move. And I started doing some JSPs, got hit, stopped out on a couple tranches. And I also did a uh, PM Iron Condor that got stopped out fairly quickly as well on this little flush. So took it away. For power hour, looking at a potentially a five wide here. Now we are... Hovering around a half percent move higher from the open. So I'll give it a few minutes, but if it's over half percent, I'll do my two to one ratio. If not, I'll do one to one. Thing looked like it was just going to keep marching, 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 and then. Got up to a high of 4393.57 and said enough is enough. Getting close to straddle territory here, my friends, which I don't like to see. Vic's been on a wild ride today. Obviously, S&P's on a wild ride. Most likely Vix is as well. A big contraction, big spike, and kind of settling in right around 18 currently. Price kind of pushed above this consolidation that we've seen over the last week or so. And then reverted back down into the cluster. Got a couple of minutes, but it looks like it's going to be a one-to-one. -one. At this very moment, it actually looks like a straddle. But give it a minute. Might be five wide. Depends on where price moves. Put on a one, two DTE earlier. It's up a few hundred already. I'll get in tranche one. I'll kind of go over some of the other positions I did today. All right. Looks like it's going to be the 65, 65 wide.
Little red bar coming into entry. Looks like it's going to be the 6055. Sixty fifty five, trying to get filled at eight ninety. Filled at eight ninety on the sixty fifty fives. You could actually even go ten wide right now, but I'm in. All right, let's settle down here for power hour, Mister. Getting a little jumpy. Little jumpy for my liking. All right, so I mentioned I got in a one, two, B and B double calendar earlier. Got out of a time fly, hit our profit target in that. We've got this other time fly with the double, the double adjustment, still down a little bit. May take another day or two before we get out of that one. But I did add a new time fly. Did this one a little bit further out, a little bit wider. That's in the uh, Nov 10 cycle. Just put that one on not too long ago. So we've got three time flies on. The other one is in the Nov 3 cycle. That one's pretty well centered. What else did I do today? This is one we put on yesterday, but our TGIF is up about 1,000, 1,100, something like that. Yeah, so I had this morning I had the AM ratio was a tiny winner. DKS was a winner. JSPs were winners. And then this afternoon, G JSPs losers and PM Iron Condor loser. So I need Power Hour to take it home. Bit K and Morrow in the sixty fifties. Kelvin's ten wide. Yeah, it looked like it popped up to be closer to four right right as I right, right after I entered. Fresh five wide three two ratio. Lando five wide. So I got in at eight ninety. Tranche one, I'm looking for 430, uh, excuse me, 535 to reduce my stop. Mm -hmm. 
I'm in the 60, 60, uh, 60, 55s. One to one. Yep. It was close to two to one, but then it came down before entry. Didn't really feel great about the two to one today. Anyway, it doesn't really feel like a uh, short squeeze after that big move down. So I'm I'm good with one to one. For those who didn't see in the trader chat, or there are some comments here in this channel as well, that the uh, for toss users that um, export issue is now back in action. Thank goodness. These these uh these swings are all over the place, aren't they? Big gap down after retail sales. Looked like it was trying to shake it off and march higher, and then just completely reversed. I'm not sure if one of the uh, Fed heads had something to do with it, but here we are, whipping around. Ooh, the beige book. Yeah, so tomorrow is the 18th. Yeah, so I've got Waller at 11 a.m., Williams at 11.30, Bowman at 12, beige book at 1. And then during power hour, we've got uh, Harker. Thursday, we've got unemployment pre-market and then Powell speaking at 11 a.m. on Thursday. Powell is due to speak at the Economic Club of New York Luncheon. Some pretty quick decay coming in here on tranche one.
Elliot, you're taking the day off tomorrow? Or, oh, that's a question. I'll still be trading power hour for sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, nothing changes for me on a Wednesday. Thursday morning. I would assume the, the premiums will be held up prior to Powell speaking, but. And it's a Thursday. So I'm not sure what it'll be on Thursday yet. Uh, on the five seven, I was I was looking at it and it just it didn't look like. I mean, it looked like if the market went down, it would uh, <clears throat> it would uh, be losing money. Now I'm not sure what it would look like now with vol spiking. It probably would be fine, but um, you know, it was kind of creeping up towards the upper call strike with profit didn't didn't appear that it was going to get much better by holding it so i just closed it i'm on the uh 6055s I got in at uh, 890 and it's already down to 750. About seven minutes until tranche two. Now, Tevis, I haven't, I haven't gotten that granular on it, but I mean, I was, I was testing halves, like three dollars or three fifty. I know. been a while but I haven't looked that specific getting a little bounce here and you're whippy We blew through the upside expected move to start the day, and then we blew through it again to the downside. S&P currently down seven on the day. NASDAQ down 80. Russell up 21. Russell's up one and a quarter percent. 
still having a little little day. Ten year yield back above four point eight. Hit a recent high of four point eight eight. Got as high as four point eight five six today. SPX still pushing. All right, I'll buy some longs for tranche two. will be probably five, maybe 10 wide for tranche two. Yeah, tranche one back to pretty close to the price I got in at. All right, tranche two looking like the maybe the seventy sixties. I'll give it a bit longer. All right, it looks like the 70 60s, 10 wide. Tranche to 10 wide. Trying to get filled at 440. So, like, tranche three premiums. Fill at 440. I'm going to need 265 on tranche two to reduce my stop.
Yeah, year to date, Russell is now up 1%. Dow is up two and a half percent year to date. NASDAQ up 39. SP up 14. Well, the little push has paused for now. Tranche one trading at A one, two DTEs rocking now. It's up 500 bucks. See, I got into that thing at. Nine eighty. It's currently trading at about ten thirty ish. And SPX back to pushing. Tranche one down to seven. I'm looking for 535 to reduce my stop. It's going to need to get under 60. Right around 4360, I would assume. For that to happen anytime soon. Five minutes until tranche three.
And trying to push again. Buy some longs for tranche three. Matt from Option Omega, are you on here? I see a Matthew, but I'm not sure if that's Matt or not. Stuck in the KC airport right now, Wooga. Oh, got to trade scout. Thanks. All right, a couple minutes till we enter tranche three here. Uh, I think there's a pig witch. There's a there's a little area called the River Market, which is basically a kind of a a model of an area in Kansas City downtown. And there's all the kind of same shops and restaurants in the little airport village called the River Market. And uh, I, I believe Pig Witch is there. It's a good one. They, I don't know. They may have like a uh, Jack Stack barbecue as well. I can't remember exactly which ones are in there. Or maybe an Arthur Bryant's. All They're all, I like all of them, but. Which ones have you seen? All right, so for tranche two, looking at the 70s and 60s, it looks like. Seventies and sixties. Tranche three ten wide. Trying to get filled at three oh five. Filled at three ten on tranche three. Seventy calls, sixty puts. Tranche three, yeah. Did I say did I say something else? Yeah, Kareen, the uh, the email or more just notifications that a trade has been posted. That's how we had to do it with the whole Discord setup, unfortunately. You know, 
back in the day, we used to actually show the actual trade alert on the email, but just can't do that with Discord. All right, so 4360 is still the sweet spot. Somewhere 4360 or slightly higher would be just fine. Branch two is at two ninety. I need two sixty five to reduce my stop. Need a little pullback. <clears throat> Runch two is trading at 285. I need 265. There's 275. 265. All right, reducing my stop on tranche two. Now we need about a five point move lower to reduce tranche one. The tranche two and three are both at the 60s and 70s for me. So that's trading at about 250. My tranche one's at 60, 60 I mean, it keeps on popping its head up there and then getting pushed down. Let's hope it hope it keeps getting pushed down. It just keeps it's kind of grinding higher. I like the visual, Mauro. So my stop on tranche two is at 465, and I got in at 440. So it'd be a, I already get stopped out of that one. It'd be a, mm -hmm. just for a small loss. But I'd prefer a win if we can get a little pullback. Trunch 
Tranche one trading right around where I entered, same price. There you go. Come on down, little buddy. Come on down. The water's warm a little bit lower, just a few points lower. It feels really good down here. All right, tranche one back down below seven. Uh, data list, you know what? I've never, I've never set the uh, stop loss on the bid. Frankly, I never used stop losses at all until I started trading zero DTE, but um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I don't know if anybody else has experience setting their stop loss on on the bid versus mark. Market on close. 46 million sell side. Yep. Nothing burger. Dead centered for tranche two and three, but tranche one is a little down move still to reduce stop. All right, tranche one down to six. I need Down to 590, 585.
It's not over yet, Dark Avenger. It's not over yet. Which one's still trading a little over six bucks? <clears throat> Five seventy. And we're bouncing back up. Didn't quite get low enough for tranche one for me. Yet, yet that is. Does that mean we're guaranteed to win, Dick K? I think that's what that means. Force is with me. All right, I'll take that. Is that the force from full grown adult Yoda or baby Yoda? Okay, still trading a little over six. Just need a little lower. Tranche two and three trading under two bucks. Five sixty five, five fifty five, five forty. I'm looking for five thirty five. Almost got there. <laughs> Teasing me. You saw it print? I did not see it print. I trust you more than Krish, Dick K. But I have to see it with my own eyes. It's going to come back down and get me. I'm not worried about it.
Five seventy, five sixty, five forty five, five thirty. There it is. Reducing my stop on tranche uno. Yeah, you know, I could set an alert, but that would that would take the fun out of it, you know? That'd be too easy. I'd be too smart. Then I can't make fun of Krish about lying to me, you know? All right. We're in the, uh, pretty much in the sweet spot here. So for tranche two and three, I'm in the 60s and 70s. So depending on where we at, I could take those to the bell being 10 wide. Tranche one's five wide. We'll give it, we'll give it closer to the bell before I call any shots. So I got my stop down to 835 on my tranche one, and I had gotten in at 890, so that one is in pretty good shape regardless. But I'd prefer a full, full boat. I want the full Monty. Yep, still 46 million to the sell side, nothing. All right, now we're getting a little red bar come in. Uh, on top of the mountain, would I adjust, would I lower tranche three stop if it's the same as tranche two? No, I, do, I treat them, I treat them separate. Because there, there, there could still be a chance that you'd get stopped out of one and not the other. So I just, I keep them separate. There's two and three down to a buck seventy.
Runs two and three down to a buck forty-five. Yeah, that's correct. Quanteo, that's how I do it. Seventies are trading at twenty five cents, Dick K. Thirty cents. All right, a little over 11 minutes till the bell. At the final market on close and balance in one minute. Hopefully it doesn't do anything stupid. Trons two and three trading at a buck forty. Hmm, tranche one trading at five thirty. One point one billion to the sell side. That's a little jump. That just means the net outflows of the big boys of the orders that they have to put on at the at a market order on the close is one point one billion to the sell side. And the market is bouncing. Charge two and three down to under a buck. Crunch one, my stops at 835, spreads trading at six.
Nice trader, Bianca. All right, getting a little bounce now. Tranche one trading up to seven. Seven minutes to go. Two and three trading at 70 cents. Launch one is trading at eight bucks, close to my stop. Should be getting stopped out. Stopped out at 840 on tranche one. So stop for a small profit. Got in at 890, stopped at 840, so 50 cents, so 500 bucks. Tranche one for tranche two and three. Getting close to that upper strike. Oh, we're getting, we're pushing now. Five minutes to go. Going to settle in a little bit. Need below 70. Below 70, please. I'm going to get out of tranche three. Ugh, jumped on me. Out of tranche three at 2.30. Still in tranche two. Wow, BNB is up over 1300 bucks. Nice.
build at 1120. I closed half my BNB. All right. Can we get below 70? Got two minutes. Just a little below 70, please. Wrong way. You're going the wrong way. I need you down a couple points. One minute. One minute, one point lower. A little red bar. No, nope, wrong way. Ah. All right, trying to get out. Ugh. Not a good close. 73. Oh, looks like it. Maybe slightly green on tranche two. Maybe scratch. So call the scratch on tranche two. Tranche one made 500 bucks. Tranche three. In at 310, out at 230. So I made 80 cents times 14. Quick math equals 1100 bucks. So uh, about 1600 minus the long. So call it 12, 1300 maybe. Still green. Still a green one. At least a winner. Exactly. Not as good as we hoped, but can't. Can't get max profit on all of them. Just can't happen. All right, my friends, we will be back tomorrow for Power Hour. Also, uh, let's see, tomorrow's the 18th, so we'll be streaming live uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday in the morning. So we'll look forward to seeing you then. Everybody have a good night. Take care.